Following up on some really sad news from yesterday, a shooting at East High School and a student that is still in critical condition. 24 hours after he was shot outside his school, Denver police say they're holding two teens in connection with that shooting. Yeah, police say the 16 and the 17 year old are both DPS students. Neither, though, attend East High School. That shooting happened yesterday afternoon and 9 News reporter Cole Sullivan's been covering it. Joining us now, you've had a chance to talk with students and parents at East today. Yeah, Tom and Kim, one senior tells me she's seen the violence in and around school increase in the last year and a half or so. In September, an East High freshman was shot in the face just a block from campus. Now another student is fighting for his life, but this isn't just happening at East High. The data shows violence involving teenagers is up across Colorado. On the fence outside Denver's East High School, a reminder of violence flutters in the wind. Police say two teenagers shot and critically wounded a student here as classes let out Monday. It was a scary thing to uh, watch and to see. At home sick, 17 year old Kira Matthews refreshed posts and texts from friends, making sure they were okay. They've lived through scary situations at their school before. When is the next bad thing going to happen? When is the next stressful situation? Her mom, Tanya, feels that danger at and around East High keeps going up. And in the last year, year and a half, the violence there is upticked. I, I don't know what to blame on that. The uptick isn't just happening at East. New data from the state shows a 15% increase in the filing of juvenile charges. The number of youth detained for violent crime is up too. The thoughts that we may have had of, oh, I, I wish I could do something to that person, they're really doing it. For 23 years, Joel Hodges' Struggle of Love Foundation has worked to stop youth violence. These days, he says the struggle feels harder than ever before. It's frustrating, bro. His programs are over capacity with more kids who need help than they can get to. But his and other organizations keep at it. Because they're saving more than they're losing. I worry. I worry a lot. Tomorrow, Tanya will send Kira back to class at East. With the way the trend is going, the senior worries what will happen to her friends after she graduates. How much more worse is it going to be next year? How bad is it going to get before, you know, people decide that, you know, things need to be changed? Denver police say they have not formally arrested the two teenage suspects in yesterday's shooting. They're currently holding them on suspicion of gun and auto theft charges. DPD says it has no updates on a second shooting. You'll remember that happened outside the Emily Griffith campus mm -hmm. around that exact same time yesterday. Yeah. Quite a blend. I mean, you have authority, authority figures, school, police, teachers that, that are there, but also these social programs, some that are, you know, with municipalities and some that are outside, all trying to find a way to reduce the violence, specifically gun violence in many cases. It's something that the superintendent has talked about before, that it's going to take the entire community to come together to do this. I interviewed him late last year, and he was worried that something like this could happen, talking about the incidents of guns they found in around campus, saying he called it a, quote, ticking time bomb at the time. The students at East did not have school today, so you know there were a lot of tough conversations like this in homes and among the teens themselves, saying, yeah. when does this stop? When does it stop? We saw teens out there um, with shirts saying students demand action from anti-gun violence groups and others who are wondering what happens next. Yeah. yeah the percentages, the numbers, they, they do tell a story, but they're not the real story. These are people. These, mm -hmm. are, these are families and, and, and classmates and so many uh, human beings involved. It always uh, shakes us when we hear it. Uh, sadly, we're also going to be talking about what happened at Michigan State yesterday mm -hmm. as well. So this has become a, a thread that continues. Uh, we certainly will be talking about it more, which is sad to say. Yeah, we'll stay on it. Thanks, Cole.